Okay, so I know a couple of weeks ago I got my hands on the Mi Box early at a Walmart and posted an unboxing video about it. And I just wanted to go on and show my setup for Kodi. For those of you who don't know, Kodi is a media system that can be used to show personal video uh, from your collection. I, however, use it primarily to stream an OTA antenna using the Live Channels app. I purchased a device called an HD Home Run from Amazon. It, I connect, I think I paid about 80 bucks for it. And I just wanted to show my setup with Kodi. Now the Mi Box is loading. <clears throat> Kodi is the main app I use on it. Uh, open it up and allow it to load. So this is how I have my skin set up. There's a lot of customizations you can do. I have live TV set up on the skin, guide. Uh, I have a DVR set up, and I can explain that a little bit. You know, I have search set up so I can go through one of my recordings or what's on live TV. You can see my channels. I have them set. That I didn't really have to do a whole lot of setup with this. This is what my antenna pulls in, and I can go ahead and check through WKBN. Sorry about the glitchiness there is from the camera, not the Mi Box. The Mi Box works fine. This is what it pulls on its own from over the over the air data. And I can go to a guide view and look at a traditional guide. Now granted, I, I pick up a lot of channels here. Some of them are redundant. I pick them up. I'm in Youngstown, so I pick up the Youngstown channels. I get them from here. I get some from Akron, from Cleveland. I use a, a, a Leaf antenna. Got it on sale for like 30 bucks. It works pretty well. I have it hidden behind a picture in my living room. I can go through and see all the different programming data coming up. And I can switch to the channel. There's a lot of options in here. But I can record if I wanted to. And I have that set up using a computer setup. I, I really should do a video on how to do that. It really wasn't that hard. And you can see it, it acts like a PVR. And I don't pay a monthly service for this. I had to set up some stuff on a computer in my house that runs in the background. But it's on anyway. And I don't notice any lag on the machine itself. Here's our DVR. I can go through the DVR right now. And you can see the NFL football game that was on live. I was recording the Browns game. Uh, yeah, I'm a Browns fan. I apologize for that. You can all feel bad for me. Yeah, we got the caps. And you can see it plays pretty well. This is from the beginning. And this has been in progress for a little while. So, there's... One of our poor, unfortunate souls. And you can see the commands come up. I can pause live TV using Cody on here. You can rewind, fast forward, speed up. And again, the colors that are continuing on the screen are just for my camera. And nothing to do with the actual new box. It doesn't have that little green tint in a while. I'm trying to get the angle on here so it doesn't show up. You can see it gives you the stats on top. It's turning in 1080p. Um, all the different codecs on it. Uh, aspect ratio. And it works really well. Comes up, shows me the weather, what I'm watching right now. A little preview of what's going on. I can check the other channels to see what's on. I'm free on Black First Hand Day. And I was just switching between watching the recording to putting on the live. And sometimes I know a little bit of jankiness there, but I'm not sure if that's the new box or my computer itself having the issues. And sometimes it takes a second or two to catch up, but it usually works pretty that. well, and I don't really miss anything. It just might be a delay of a second or two. And then go through and see what's on ABC. I could pause live TV like I just did now. Options like you normally would have. And there's all kinds of options you can go through and play with to figure things out. Really, I didn't get into a lot of the settings on this. I kind of went with just the default options. And it works pretty well. I'll include some links at the bottom of the video to the different pieces of software I use to make this all work the way it does. You can see when you change channels, there's a slight lag. Um, maybe a second or two, and then it's buffering, and then it comes back up. Well, you can see you really don't miss a whole lot. You might just get a little bit of a delay on the key. Tackle on the play by Demario Davis. All the 
pressure right now on Hugh Jackson's defense to try to get off the field and limit them to a field I am track. using an Ethernet yeah. adapter, and I think that's causing a lot of my issues on the box. I, I got a cheap one off Amazon for like six dollars from my own Nexus player, and I've really noticed that when I'm playing back video over the HD home run, not using the Ethernet, it seems to pay back a lot better. In the third quarter, we saw those crossing routes by you do a little pull outside here. You can see what's coming on. Change the channels from here. To be able to stop because I only have a setup right now for nine channels. I think I pull them like 20. But like I said earlier, a lot of them are redundant shows. DVR, let me pull up another show. So here's Modern Family from this week. Kind of viewing options, you can bring it up so the guide looks different. I kind of keep mine plain. This is, I also have a Plex server running in my house, so I can see things that I've recorded too, and they show up this way. And they'll play fine from here. Also. An NAACP award and a body. I mean, what are they going to do next? Love Anthony Anderson. Next. Fast forward, skip around, rewind. Sorry. A little bit of buffering takes a second or two. But again, like I said, you don't miss out. So that's Cody on my Mi Box.